What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 for architecture tutorial. So last week we talked about how to draw a basic house inside of Fusion 360. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to draw, an, uh, draw a floor plan from an image inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by importing an image. So if you're drawing a floor plan from scratch, this might be a little bit different. You'd probably just come in here and start modeling out your walls, but we wanna use a reference image in order to do this. So to do that, we're gonna go up to insert and we're gonna click on the button for canvas. So we're gonna insert an image basically. And in this case, it's found on my computer. So I'm gonna go to insert from my computer and then I've got an old floor plan example that I'm going to bring in. So I'm just going to bring this image in. And honestly, I don't even remember where I got this floor plan. Um, I've had it for a long time, but we're just going to go ahead and click on OK. And you can see how what that did is that brought in our image. And so from there, what we need to do is we need to resize this image. Because even though the image has been brought in to Fusion 360, um, it's not nearly the right size, right? If we were to draw a line from here to here, it would not be the 11 feet that this is calling out. And so what we want to do in order to do this is I'm going to start by going into my document settings and I'm going to change my active units to feet just because this is larger and we're going to be doing this in feet and we're going to click on OK. So once we click on OK then we're going to go into our canvases which is where your image is stored. And then you're going to right click on that and you're going to click on the button for calibrate. So what calibrate does is calibrate allows you to set a length and it'll resize the image to match your length. So in this situation, what we need to do is we need to find two points that we know the dimensions between. So in this situation, for example, we know that this kitchen is 11 foot by 17 foot. So we're just going to pick a point right on the corner right here. And then we'll come over here and we'll click another point right here and we're going to type in a value of 11 feet and hit the enter key and what this does is this resizes your image so that it's much larger and now if we were to come in here and draw a sketch on this face we should be fairly close and you may need to turn your snapping off in here but we should be fairly close to this space being 11 feet long plus or minus you're gonna have a little bit of error in there um, just because of the way that we're doing this so unless you have some kind of exact snap to this corner you're just gonna have to get close and that's probably gonna have to be good enough but now what we have and I'll click on finish sketch for a moment but we have an image that's in here to scale well now, what we need to do is we need to start adding the walls in. And so adding the walls in is fairly simple. We're just gonna use uh, create sketch mode in order to sketch out the profile of the walls and then we're gonna extrude them up. So in this situation, I'm gonna click on create sketch. I'm gonna click on this plane right here and then we're gonna start tracing our shape. And so one thing you need to be a little bit careful about when you do this is I like to go ahead and break up my geometry like where my windows are, for example. So because we're gonna extrude the window geometry a little bit different. So what I, drew, what I do is I draw an edge that makes up the width of my window. And you can see how basically what I'm doing is I'm just splitting this up because we're gonna split this into different faces in the future. But I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna trace out this wall and then we'll come back and take a look at this. And note that you can also type in more precise values here. So if you wanted this to be two and a half feet and you wanted this to be like three feet, you could just type in values and enter these in here that way if you know that these dimensions are gonna be a little bit different than what's showing up based on your snapping. So you can type in values in here as well. And we'll go ahead and stop right here for right now. So we're basically gonna do this all the way around the perimeter, but in this situation, I'll go ahead and stop right here and show you what I'm gonna do next. So now I'm gonna take all of these, maybe not this one right here, cause this wall is a different thickness, but I'm gonna select all of the edges up to this point and I'm gonna use the offset tool in order to give them a thickness. So notice how when I selected those, I can now come in here and give those an offset. So we'll just type in a negative 0.9 for now. So it's gonna be 0.9 feet thick, which I'm not even sure if that's really a valid thickness for something like this, but we're gonna call it good for this example. Um, obviously your walls may be a different thickness anyway. But one thing you might wanna think about doing is you might wanna think about drawing lines across the edges at your doors and windows before we go start extruding this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep splitting these Like
like this because what we're going to do is we're going to extrude those separately. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on finish sketch. So if you'll notice what we've done is we've basically split this up into a number of different faces. Well then you can take all these faces and extrude them up into walls. So what you can do is for these walls for example I'm just doing a shift click and selecting them and notice how I can select each one of these walls individually and then I can click on the button for extrude and I can extrude this up however tall my walls are going to be. So we'll call it 11 feet just for right now, just for the sake of this example. So you can see how what we have here is we have walls that um, so we've basically extruded some of these walls into 3D. Now we need to do the same thing with the windows. And notice that your sketch turned off when we did this, so we just need to go back and turn this back on. And then we're just going to select our windows. And then we're going to extrude these up as well. And so when we extrude these up, we're going to say that these are going to have a height maybe of 3 feet above ground. So we'll type in 3 feet and hit the enter key. And so now what we have, and you can leave this in join mode if you want to, or you can create those as separate bodies. Um, I'm going to leave it in join mode. What we have now is we have the base of our window openings. And so now what we want to do is we want to create the rest of our opening. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to use the extrude tool in the same way. So we're going to select these faces, do a shift click, shift click, shift click and we're going to extrude these just like this and so what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to use the two sides function in order to do this so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and extrude this the rest of the way up so in this case that should be about eight feet but then we want to use our second distance to extrude this up the height of our window so you can see how if we enter a negative value right here what this will do is this will create our window opening and so let's say we want our windows to be we'll call it four foot six inches we'll just type in negative 4.5 and hit the enter key and so now what we have is we have our walls with our window openings inside of them And so from there, um, you're just going to come in and start adding your detail. So we're just going to rough out all of the different openings on this floor plan. Then we're going to come back in and add things like window frames and other things like that. So I'm going to speed this up really quick and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to start detailing out the rest of this building. All right, and then one last thing to note about this, and I think I'm gonna break this up. We may do the interiors a little bit differently, um, but one last thing to note about this is for our door openings, we don't need to extrude this up the first time in order to create this base hole. We just need to extrude these two door openings in the same way. So we're just gonna go into two sides. We wanna extrude this up the full 11 feet. But then we want to set our second opening to something like seven feet. So we'll type in negative seven feet and hit the enter key. So what that does is that creates our door opening as well. So now we have a door opening, we have a window opening. And so the interior is going to work much the same way. You're just going to trace out these. Uh, you're just going to trace out these walls and then create this openings. I, these openings. I think I'm going to do that off screen, and then I think I'll come back in the next video. We can talk a little bit more about adding your door and window frames inside of Fusion 360 as well. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Do you like this series? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.